Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is 10 tips to help change dating patterns and remove mixed signals. I've received quite a few emails on my advice column from both men and women expressing concern over what's going on in the dating world. They say that there's so many people playing games, sending out mixed signals, they're interested, they're not interested, they're hot, they're cold, they're busy, all of a sudden they're available. They don't know what they're supposed to do anymore. And the problem is it's happening with both sexes pretty equal. Where the mixed signals are coming in is both men and women do not know which way they're supposed to go. Do they continue to date this person? Or do they say, chalk it up, that, okay, this is just a game. They're just here for a good time, not a long time. But when both sexes are doing this and repeating this pattern all the time, it makes it very stressful to date. Because you know that every time you see somebody, you have a couple of good dates, you think, well, things are going well, and then all of a sudden you don't hear from them anymore. Or a month later, they contact you again, say they were busy. All these situations that people are making excuses about, you have to put out what you want to get back. That's the bottom line with dating. If you're going to keep choosing the same people over and over again, you're going to have a dating pattern. You're going to have similar results all the time. A lot of people are just putting energy into the appearance. That's number one priority. And that's what's getting everyone into trouble because it's all about the happy ending. It's like, let's, let's get, get them into the sack. Let's see what happens. But what goes on is when sex is a, put into the picture very quickly, it changes the perception of a lot of people and the expectations, especially when it comes to women. Because a lot of women are emotionally involved when they are intimate with a partner. Some women can just have sex, of course, but there's a lot of people that want that connection, that emotional reciprocation. And if you're going in really quick with that before you even know somebody, you don't know if you want to have an emotional connection with them. And that's another thing that's causing problems here. People are not taking their time getting to know someone. And this is where the mixed signals are coming in because they think, oh, that person was really interested. I, those for few dates we had, they were awesome. And then all of a sudden, they kind of pull back because they're saying, oh, is this happening too fast? What's going on here? What do I really want? And so everybody's sitting here mixed up at the end of the day. They don't know if that person's going to even call them again. There's so much ghosting going on all the time. What both men and women don't always understand is ultimately they do want the same things. They want the same things in a potential partnership. It's important to find out if somebody is looking to have a committed relationship or if they're just out having a fling. Because if that's the case, then yes, you're going to have the same dating patterns all the time very short-lived. So let's talk about the 10 tips of how to change up your dating patterns. The first thing that I would suggest would be not putting everything out on the table. A lot of people think they have to, you know, the first impression has to be everything about who they are so that they'll impress the person they're dating, they'll want to see each other again. Just give a bit of information, see if you like them. Don't give everything out there so that you coming across like you're needy or you're, you're so available to be in a relationship because that scares people off. That's something that a lot of people make the mistake of on the first date. Number two, do not get caught up in playing any of these dating games out there. Don't take a back seat to somebody because maybe they're not ready or they're playing this, you know, hard to get scenario. Whatever's going on and you're feeling like there's sort of push pull happening here, don't spend any more energy on them because that's who they are and they're showing you pretty quickly. So move on from that because that's not what you're looking for. Respect each other's time. There is no room for rudeness and just coming and going as you please on a date. This is something that people think it's, I don't know, all about them and what's happening in their life. Well, there's two people here. And if somebody is 
late for a date or they keep canceling on you, any of those things, you have to not see them anymore. It's not a good fit. This has always been a huge deal breaker for me because it shows that they're not respecting your time. Number four, do not lead anyone on if you're not interested in them. Don't save them for a rainy day and just have them on the old, you know, phone for whenever you feel like giving them a call. That's not fair to them. If you are interested in them, it's perfectly okay to tell them you enjoyed the date and you'd love to see them again. This honesty is so good to have on a date because it shows that you're being confident and authentic with who you are. There's no BS games being played here. You're being forthright. Be careful about putting yourself out there too early sexually because this can lead you to be in a different mindset after it happens. All of a sudden there's different expectations that come into play and this is something that you don't want to start a relationship out in because it, there, it can confuse the whole situation and you might fall a little harder for them before you really know who they are. And that can be a dangerous situation. So take your time. You don't have any pressure to do that. Number six, be aware of how picky your checklist is. Be realistic. You don't wanna come across as high maintenance or shallow with what you want in a partner. The, the small things are the big things really here. Don't worry so much about the physical attributes too early. Think about more of their characteristic. What makes them a great person? That's what your checklist should be consist of. Not simple things that don't really matter in the scheme of things. Be careful how judgmental you are too early. Give people a chance. People are nervous on a date. So they're not gonna be 100% who they are because they're worried how they're coming across. They're also worried about making a good first impression. You should always give somebody at least two dates unless there's an absolute disconnect or they're rude or whatever. But I would always say, try not to be too judgmental with making a quick assumption about somebody because we do have few fears here and there when we're first dating. It's just natural. Be careful not to be too clingy or overly affectionate. If you're just meeting them, a lot of PDA is not the way to go. It makes them uncomfortable. They don't know you yet. So they wanna know if they like you before you've got hands all over them. That is something that a lot of people misjudge and it's not a, an okay place to put yourself or to put the person you're dating. Both sexes should offer to pay and contribute on dates. It's not the guy's job to have to pay for everything all the time. And guys, if you're choosing high maintenance women, don't complain about this as being one of the situations that happens because you're letting them in your life. And so you have to understand that, that if that's who you're choosing to be with, that's the results you're going to get. So be very careful here. It's not one person's job to have to take care of the finances for every situation. Just offering to pay once in a while is really appreciated. And finally, do not send out mixed signals because it thinks it makes you interesting and mysterious. This is not being honest about who you are. And it's actually quite a turnoff because people get tired of playing the games. If something is bothering you on a, on a date and you're trying to figure out, okay, is this person real? What's going on? Ask them, be clear about what it is that you're looking for as well, because communication is definitely the key to any new relationship. If you can communicate, you can be open with each other, you're on the road to something really great. But if you're sending out mixed signals, you're repeating the same pattern, dating the same people, you're just, it's inevitable what's going to keep taking place. You're going to have the same results. And in closing, it's very important to respect yourself first. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but I can't stress it enough. If you always respect who you are, you'll always get what you desire because you appreciate what it takes to be with somebody who has the same values and morals and goals as you do. This is what is important to figure out when you are having repetition in your dating life. If you're having 
one scenario after another that looks like the same situation over and over again, you have to take the time to sit back and figure out how to change this. Change your dating scenarios, change up who you date, your environment, everything that goes with what you were doing as a habit in the past. There's something that's going on that's causing you to sabotage your own personal happiness. And once you get to the root of that situation, it'll be smooth sailing. You won't do it again because you understand the importance of being with people that work for you, where there's potential to have a reciprocated partnership. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please click like on the video, please subscribe, and leave any show topics, ideas that you have beneath the video here. I'm always looking for new topics, and I love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much for anyone who's recently subscribed and all my regular viewers. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.